So now let's try to quickly do this for uh, the second order case. <coughs> Again, it's not always that you will use only the logarithmic stuff. There's usefulness to the linear part as well. So I won't uh, spend too much time on this. You can choose any quantity, but let's say this is the phasor Vs which is driving it, meaning some sinusoid is driving that one. Huh? Yeah, I told you right. We, to plot things over a wide range, you need a log plot. Okay. Then you can't see anything, isn't it? I mean, let's say, what is the frequency range audible to the human ear? 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Okay, approximately. So let's say I make the zero and then. 20 kilohertz. So where is 20 hertz here? Yeah. So you can't tell what's happening, isn't it? In fact, so let's say this is 10 and this is 5. This is 2.5 kilohertz. Still, this is 1.25. This is 0.625. And you can go on and on and on. So the low frequency stuff, the base, you can't plot on this. Alternatively, I can uh, first say that a hey, base performance is very important to me. I'll put 20 hertz here. Where is 20 kilohertz? outside campus okay <laughs> so to show this the only reasonable way is a log scale okay so what do you do 20 hertz 200 hertz 2 kilohertz 20 kilohertz okay so it's a useful way of uh, depicting things which vary over a large range and i mean things could vary over even bigger range than this right uh, if you look at light if you go from infrared to ultraviolet and so on, the frequency changes by many orders of magnitude. Right. Yes? There is a phase of the frequency plot. Yeah. So the space is in a linear way. Yeah. And the frequency is in the logarithmic way. Yeah. But we are taking one day at the point one day at Yeah. So that is logarithmic, right? I mean, the spacing between. What is the meaning of log scale? The physical distance between point 0.1 by RC and 1 by RC is the same as the physical distance between 1 by RC and 10 by RC. That is the meaning of log scale, right? Now, I can mark any number of points on this. Log scale means that, let us say this was uh, 4 centimeters, this is also 4 centimeters, okay? So, equal factors mean equal distances, whereas linear scale means equal distances mean equal increments, okay? You can have any kind of scale, right? It's just a mapping of variables. That's all. But uh, these are some useful things. That's all. Okay. So. You can do this for any variable you want. Let us say IR or VC or anything. So, first I will do it on linear scale. You can do it yourself on the log scale and then see what happens. Okay. VC by VS versus omega. What is the expression for VC by VS? Do you know? What was it? What is it? Then? It's just a voltage divider, right? Which comes out to be 1 by Okay. This is correct. Okay. Fine. Now, what do you think is a key frequency to plot this at for this circuit? One by one by square root of L. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the magnitude and this is the angle. So I'll first do it on a linear scale, you can attempt it on a log scale. What is it for very low frequencies, the magnitude? Uh, this is not the angle of the magnitude, but just the angle of this complex number, okay. What is the magnitude at frequencies much, much lower than 1 by LC? At a really, really low frequency, what is it? 1, okay. So if you apply DC, all of the a capacitor is an open circuit, all of the applied voltage comes at the all output out across the capacitor. So it is 1. Frequency is much, much more than 1 by LC. What is a good approximation? Huh? Okay, something better than 0, something not as detailed as this. Which is the most dominant term? The highest power in omega, right? So this is approximately minus omega square LC, okay? For omega much greater than 1 over square root LC, okay? So how does this change? It changes as the square, square of, uh, inverse square of omega, right? So it goes rapidly to 0. What is the value at omega equal to 1 over square root LC? Hmm? <coughs> 1 by square root L by C, well, what is that? And we define that to be some constant, right? It's the quality factor Q of the circuit. So let's assume the Q is quite high for this. Okay, just for the heck of it. So maybe Q is somewhere there. That is, let's say three or something. So what happens is that it will uh, go up and then fall off like that. Okay. So in fact, that uh, logarithmic uh, plot with the asymptotes is not good at covering things in this area. Okay, these things it will do. Here it is unity and here it goes as 1 over omega square. So you can see on the log plot what is it. This you have to evaluate separately. So the value at 1 over square root of LC is equal to 1 over R square root L by C which is Q. Okay, or 1 over 2 zeta. Okay, so you can have a capacitor voltage that is much higher than the applied voltage because of resonance in this case. Now quickly, what is the phase at very low frequencies? Huh? Very low frequencies. Zero, right? And very high frequencies? So this is just to see where it changes from and where it changes to. What is it at very low frequencies? Zero. Very high frequencies? Zero. Why? What is the phase of this? Pi. Okay. And what is the phase at 1 over square root LC? Minus? Minus pi by 2. It's an imaginary number, right? 1 over j omega CR. So, so it goes from it goes like that. Okay. It asymptotically reaches minus pi. Okay. And please plot the same thing on a log scale. And also you can try plotting other variables like uh, VR and VL and IR and so on. Okay. Please do that. I won't discuss this further because this is just about plotting. But plotting is very important. And it looks particularly like you don't have enough practice doing these things. I mean plotting different kinds of functions and so on. Please do that even when you are trying to solve problems, etc. So that gives you a good starting point for solving many things. Okay.